Hey guys, so today's video is being sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative people like yourself who are curious on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. You guys know that I do all the editing for our channel and I want to become creative when it comes to taking pictures and editing our videos. So this is a good way for me to learn different techniques and apply them to my channel. So I'm going to be leaving all the information down below. Check them out, you guys. So thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. My channel. Please check the description bar down below for more information. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get a free trial for Skillshare Premium Membership. So you don't want to miss out. Guys, hey guys, do not mind what I look like in my, my nightgown and stuff like that because I'm laying down. I mean... <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's like out of it. You guys, look um, how nice my hair looked. I used some of the Myel products today. Oh, so nice. Yeah, I... It feels crunchy. I, I like drowned that. it in the spray and everything like that. So I'm just trying out the products to see first. I'm trying to see how long my hair lasts before I re have to touch with the products. And then I'll do a curly hair tutorial just to show you guys because I'm the type of person that I like to try something first and make sure it's good before I, I tell you guys about it because I don't want you guys to have to spend a lot of money. Um, we also did some dinner for my brother. I'm going to try to put a clip um, probably after this so you guys can see the pizza, the was... pizza was delicious, you guys. That pizza was recreated from a lobster and it is amazing. So we hope you guys enjoy this vlog. You know, we've been trying to vlog for you guys. Go out a little bit more and, mm -hmm. you know, just show you guys around. I know you guys like to know when we go shopping and things like that. Wow, it looks like I have really bad on the eye right here, but it's the yeah, lighting. I so some fillers too. Yeah. Um, we'll leave the link down below of the pizza that she's talking about, the red lobster pizza. And if below. you guys didn't see the barbecue pizza, we'll link that below. And also, if you guys did not see Smoothie Wednesday, because I know um YouTube was acting up. So if you guys did not see that, please watch that video because that video is really, really good. Also, um podcast. We are doing a podcast today. By the time you see this video, it's going to be up. So make sure you check the podcast too because we're trying to do um, videos on there as well. We've been nonstop, but it's paying it's off. It's worth it. The podcast is Always Together 26. You can find it in Spotify, Anchor. Breaker, Anchor. Um... I'm going to try to link everything down below for you guys so you guys can click on it. So I'll put the podcast information as well. So let's jump into the video. Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you guys our juicer. We bought this juicer at Ollie's last year for $29.99. And so a lot of people ask us if we still juice, if we still doing the celery juice, juicing. Yes, we are. Um, I wanted to show you guys this juicer because I wanted to show you a cheaper version and the one that I just bought, which was $300. And I'll show you that uh, shortly. The pros and cons to this cons this is very very difficult to clean these juicers are very very difficult this one the what are, what do you call it the motor i or? think the motor inside of this mm -hmm. or whatever spins in here it is messed up you guys i feel like sometimes like it's, it's gonna, gonna explode yeah. it's gonna explode because it just makes this weird noise the pro to this this was 29.99 mm -hmm. this was affordable i think we've been using this for what like close to a year close to a year you guys but it's so bad already like it's very loud it, it's very like we have a two-floor house it's it vibrates the whole counter it's like so noisy that sometimes we have to shut it off in between sessions because we feel like it's really gonna explode and we'll show you that in a few minutes um, we're going to show you a demo on how this sounds. The reason I bought this was because I wanted to juice. And I'm like, you know what? Before I commit myself into buying a $200, $300 machine, let me go to the affordable route. Sometimes that saying that says you you get what you pay for it is so true. Because while this is good for a beginner, it's not going to last us very long. And you have to go through so much product. Like there's times that before when we first started... We would only use one celery bunch each, mm -hmm. and you would have more than two cups. Now, 
a, a bunch of celery doesn't even give for half a cup of, like a cup of celery juice so this is you know good for a beginner if you're gonna use it for like six months and then just work your way up to getting something better than this but this right here and then the simple fact is very hard to clean here if you don't clean it inside here with like maybe uh, one of those cleaners that gets like in the uh, a bottle cleaner, like, yes. you know, like a milk bottle or like the ones that clean the straws, this will get all fungi. And what I mean, all black inside and like green. So you have to take napkins and a knife, uh, like maybe like a pointy knife, like a steak knife or something and clean the inside. If you don't have that cleaner that we're telling you. So, you know, we just wanted to share this with you guys. We're going to show you how this works, and then we'll show you the next one that we got. You guys, as you can see, these are two packs of celery that I have here. And then I have this little brush that I bought in the Dollar Tree. What I like to do is I like to run each, well, I cut the end stalk, and then I separate them, and I run some water. I cut the leafy greens up top, and then I use one of these to clean inside, because sometimes it has a lot of dirt and grit in between the stalks. And like my sister was saying before, this one head would give 16 ounces of more. So that's two cups per person, right? So now with this juicer, since it's getting messed up, I need to use one bunch and a half for myself and then another bunch and a half for my sister. Sometimes even two. And when you go to your like Walmart, because we usually buy them in Walmart, we found a local market around our mm -hmm. way that they only charge us one forty nine. Sometimes we find them for a dollar twenty eight. You want to go through them and feel them, okay? Feel how thick they are, cause you get what you pay for. You don't want to go and buy a bunch for half of what you get. You, you, if you get what I'm saying, be aware. This is going to get scary. <laughs> Of course, today is not making that much noise. Yeah, today is not making that much noise. It should have been more than two cups. Right now, it's at two cups, but. It should have been more. It should have passed uh, this line right here. It should have extracted more juice out of the, the bunch. Yeah, so it didn't. Um, this bad boy don't want to make the noise today because that always happens when you... Hey, you guys. So real quick, I wanted to show you here the juicer that we have bought. This is the Omega. I'm going to try to put the name here because I don't know what number it is. This is what it looks like. So I just opened it right now. And I guess... This is open and this is closed right here. So these are the pieces that it comes with that I'm just going to wash up right now and assemble it. This is the little pusher that comes with it. So you just push the celery down and it comes with this. This is the lid. Then it comes with the brush, which is super cute because, you know, if you guys know from our previous machine, we did not have a cleaner. So this is good and handy and I'm thankful that they sent this because for the price they better be sending this and then you have two different sizes of um, cups. containers or cups I will call it a container better so here's one container and then we have another container so I'm just gonna wash everything and then I'll show you what it looks like completely done you guys so I assembled it without having no instructions or anything all I did was pop this on here you just got to make sure this is open and then you just close it like this this lid it just pops right on and then you just use the little pusher to push everything in which is pretty cool and then you have two different um rings i want to call this and then you just you could take this one off well let's see that one off like that and then if you want to put this one hold on let me see if i could do it with my left hand probably not but you guys got it you just pop this in like this so it comes with two different sizes like this I just wanted to show you I'm gonna be using this one for the celery and then this is the little brush and the two little containers now I'm gonna put this to the test I'm gonna show you the amount of celery that I have and I want to see 
how much it's going to extract, okay? You guys, so now I know why there's two trays that come. There's a hole down here, and then there's the hole right here. So let me show you the amount of celery that we're going to be juicing right now to see and That was the how leftover much... celery that we had from the other day. Yeah, so it looks kind of, you know, questionable, but we're still going to um, juice, juice it, it and see what... Like... Wow. If you guys see, like, all the dryness that's coming out, look at that, you guys. And I put, like, maybe four or five celery stalks already. And look at the little bit. Wow, this is awesome. This is worth every penny. If you guys are on a budget, I suggest you save every penny and try to get this machine. Because this is going to save you lots of money weekly yes. because we were going through celery like crazy because our juicer was giving out so we're gonna continue finishing this and we'll show you once we're done right, so we actually got two cups full of celery juice and that was not even a whole head of celery that must have been like half of a celery guys this machine is life changer because let me tell you we would go through one bunch and a half just to get this amount of juice. So, I suggest you getting it and let me know what you think about it. This is worth every penny. If I had to buy five more of these machines, I would still do it in a heartbeat without any hesitations. Yeah, I love it. Starbucks, you guys. About to order my refresher. You guys already know. The largest size that you have, okay. please. Um... And that's that's it. Okay, that's gonna be eighteen twenty-three. Thank you. Window. Inside? Well, not inside. Right. Obviously, we're in the drive-through, but you can see the inside if you get what I'm saying. And I'm gonna give him a tip. This is the peach tea. Peach tea lemonade, and then we have two acai refreshers, lights, and juice because we don't want that much sugar today. Guys, we're at Target. We're gonna do some shopping like usual. We're getting more of these wipes because we got four last time and we're getting four again because there's barely any left. So here we go, stock up. Look at all these sets for the holidays for Elf. Oh, I like these brushes. So cute. Look at that. $10 stocking stuffers. So cute. Is I was looking for this last time. Look, they have castor oil. Oh, okay. This is the cleanse that I wanted to get from T. What? T. Haji? Taraji. Taraji <laughs> P. Henson, whatever her name is. I heard this stuff is so, so good. So, I'm going to see if I get it, you guys. I got to wash my hands today. Today's hair. But we have so much hair products, you guys. So, I'm going to see if I'm going to wait it out or if I'm going to pick it up. Guys, look, Miss Jessie's, they have really good stuff. Buy one, get one 50% off. If you're looking to, you know, change your hair game for the curly. And I heard this line is really good as well. And ain't nobody paying $21.99. No way. And this is the collection that I have that I showed you guys last time. $11.99, $13.99, $25.99. And I found this in clearance in TJ Maxx for like 6 bucks. So you guys always got to go and check it out. And look, Carol's daughter, $10.99, $11.99. I found it at TJ Maxx and at Burlington for $2.99 on clearance. How cool is that? You guys, so we are getting yogurt. And this is the one we're going to try today. It's dairy-free. Dairy-free. I can't even talk. Coconut milk. It's a little expensive, you guys, but it is what it is. We need to get some yogurt. Looking at the bikes again, you guys, because we are going to be buying a bike soon. So, I like this one, actually, right I here. I just don't know which one I want. Ooh, the all black is nice. Ooh, yes. This one is super nice. I like this one a lot. I just don't know the prices, so I'm going to check in the computer today. So, yeah. Super nice. In the Marshalls, it's been a long time since we've been in here, so let's go see what they have in here. Okay, you guys, so we were impressed with Marshalls. I think they have 
better hair products than TJ Maxx. To be honest, like the amount of, you know, name brand hair products that they have is incredible. The bio silk is really, really good. It goes for very expensive at the salons. Um, I didn't want to buy more stuff because I have too many. Look at all these lashes that they have, you guys. They have amazing lashes. They had a lot of Too Faced products and things like that. But of course, I don't need no more makeup in my life. I have way too many. Sorry if my voice sounds a little weird, you know. I'm just like tired today. Um, as you can see, they have the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, lip gloss set and the metallic set. I really didn't like them. Um, they were $50. The Neutrogena is amazing. That blue line is just awesome. Um, I've always wanted to try the Vital Proteins, but um, I never picked them up for some reason. So, I was just browsing this day. I didn't feel like buying anything besides um, in the next clip. You guys will see it after this. When I picked up some stuff, just two things. I picked up that, and then I'll show you the rest at home, but I'm always looking for nose strips and um, face masks or sheet masks or lip masks because I run out of them so fast, so I always like to have them in stock, and then um, I really like this duffel bag, it's pretty pricey for a duffel bag, it's not even like, you know, high quality. Um, I like how they had these wallets and these little um, bags with the little um, wallet to put your credit cards for like a Christmas present for $24.99. I thought that was super cute. I really like the other one, like the mauve pink one for $24.99. You can't beat it. And these nail polish were so nice, but you guys know I like gel polishes better. And all of these scrunchies were nice as well, but I don't need no more hair products, you guys. You know, I have way too many. The tree, you guys. I bet you I'm going to end up buying more than I need. Guarantee you. I need to get a star. I don't know. No. Nah. That's not the star that I want. I need a star, you guys. A oh, star. Oh, that one. That one is cool. Should we get the silver one? Yeah. Yeah, that one's fine, I think. Gotta get a birthday card for my nephew. Oh, this one is so cute. Okay, I'm getting him this one for sure. Guys, table cover. I don't know which one I should get. I think I want to do blue maybe or green. I think I'll do green for my favorite color. And they have these little cupcakes. And these little plates. So cute. But I don't need no more junk in my crib. I have so much stuff that I just don't need no more cookie cutters. Dollar Tree is stepping up their game for I got a birthday bag for my nephew. Which one should I get you guys? Oh man, they're not big. I need a really big one. Uh, maybe this one is nice. Oh, I like this one. Maybe I'll get him this one. Or let's see. You guys, they got lashes. They got a lot of stuff, you guys. Look what I just found, you guys. Beauty blenders. And these to wash your brushes. Gel. You guys, look at that flower collection for a dollar. These things are always at the um walmart look how cool you guys they got so much stuff for a dollar how amazing is that we're at the dollar store you guys 
I'm trying to get bows and some other stuff. These are cute little ties. I love these. Look at these more. So cute. The pizza crusts that we got that we get all the time. Um, the last time we got the smaller ones, but these are the best ones. And then these rice are super good as well. So I like to grab a couple of these just to have in stock. Tuna fish. Um, no, you said one. Yes. Look, mashed potatoes. They have a whole bunch of stuff, you guys. Look at that. Oh, this is what I wanted. The uh, sazon completo. Because I really, really enjoy this. And I like to get these as well. To season my meat. Found this one. And I'd rather you guys get this one. And I'm going to get this one too. Because these Goya ones only bring eight. And look at the amount that you get for a dollar. So it's best to get this one. Look how good these salad dressings are. I kind of want to try this raspberry vinaigrette. And then they have this one. Zesty Roubost. So. And they have barbecue sauce. They have so much stuff here, you guys. This is why I love the dollar store. And then they have the peanut butter cups. And the cookie butter. This looks good, this cookie butter. We're stepping up their game. Look, they got cheddar cheese, pepper jack, um, cheese. Um, um, and then they have this Mexican cheese. Oh my God, for a dollar. Look at that, Tampico. They have Lunchables. They've never had this in the dollar store. This is freaking amazing. Awesome. These chicken fries are so freaking bomb. I can't even tell you. You got to try them for yourself. They have, I don't know what this is, but burritos. Red hot beef burritos. These look good as well, the barbecue ones. They have all types of hot pockets. And then they have boneless pork pork riblets and look loaded potato sticks and a whole bunch of oh my god good stuff wow mac and cheese bites the snaps mozzarella sticks are pretty good too the tree i cannot believe look at all the egg rolls they have look at that egg noodles they have pop stickers pork uh, vegetables wow like for real like if I would have known this, I would have done a mukbang on Dollar Tree stuff. Home meatballs. Look at all these foods. Kicking Alfredo, home style, Asian style. Oh my God, fettuccine Alfredo. OMG. I told you, I came for like five things. And look at the amount of stuff we got. Unbelievable. Dollar Tree always taking my money. Really quick, I wanted to share with you guys. I also got these rugs at the dollar store to put in the entry of the house when you come in and then the back way of the door when you're going out to the backyard because you know the ones that we had they were old and ugly so i wanted to get these they're super nice they go perfect with the decor in the house and for a dollar you can't go wrong because you could change them all year round mm -hmm. okay guys so we wanted to show you guys quickly our tree our baby tree so i wanted to say that um this year we donated our seven feet tree to D dr there's a girl over there that cannot afford it so i wanted to give it to her we actually um, gave her everything yeah lights and balls everything that you could think of we gave it to her so you know we're in the spirit of you know you know Christmas. gifting and donating if we can mm -hmm. and just you know being thankful for what we have obviously we can buy another tree but when I move out of here, I want a bigger tree. So, you know what? I said, let me take out the baby tree because it just does the job perfectly well. A lot of the things that we got are from the Dollar Tree, like the tablecloth. A lot of the stocking boots that you see back here, they're from the Dollar Tree. I think Woody's was gifted and Darlene's was gifted. I um, think this one was gifted. These are both mine, so either one. I think these three were from the dollar store. The star is from the dollar store as well. These boxes with gifts are from the dollar store. These cards right here are from Burlington. This one is from the dollar store. Marlene bought me the, you know, Home Alone PJs. Uh, 
Target for $26.99. So we wanted to put it at the table because it's just festive. This I got at the dollar store. Candy canes from the dollar store. Also, these were gifted to us. Oh, it broke. Oh, well, whatever. And then this one was gifted because you already know. Hashtag Pepsi if you love it as much as we do. We also got this one gifted to us. This Jose made. Sorry for the creaking on the floor. This floor is terrible. And then I also bought these at Big Lots for $4, but I was going to put them on. Look how pretty they are, but I don't want my tree to fall, you guys. So we actually are using the table that we do barbecues in mm -hmm. or mug pans just because if I put the tree on the floor and the presents, Woody will bite it off. And I don't want that disaster. And you know what? I know I have a little black table upstairs that will go perfect with this. But by the time you guys see this... Um, Another clip of this video in a future vlog the table will be jam to capacity with presents. Yeah, because um, we do it big. Yeah. We're also going to be donating to the shelter. Um, we're starting to give out to a lot of people and just donate. You know, we're in the spirit. We want to give back to those that we can as much as you guys don't see it. And we get a lot of people saying, oh, be grateful and blah, blah, blah. We are always grateful just because you don't see what we do off camera doesn't mean that we don't give back or that we're not grateful. Um, we are going to be watching Home Alone. Because yesterday we were watching Home Alone 1. Mm -hmm. So we want to watch 2 because we put it out yesterday. But we didn't have none of these decorations. So yeah. yeah. Let me know. Actually, not let me know. DM me. Snapchat me. I would like to see your Everybody's decorations. Everybody's trees. Yes. You decorate your home inside or outside with all the lights. That is like a dream come true of mine. Like I love those homes. We used to drive to Howard Beach all the time. Let me know. Put hashtag Howard Beach or that freaking house in Brooklyn that they have decorations the whole house. I think I, it was in Queens, too. No, I thought it was Brooklyn, no? Either one. Whatever. We, we used to drive to Brooklyn and Queens just to see um, Christmas lights and stuff like that. So, you know, send us DMs, Snapchat us, um, Instagram us, and let us know and send us pictures because we would love to see. I finally found the bows at the dollar store to put on the gifts. As you can see this side... It's getting a little bit of full with presents. Guys, let me know where this movie is from. If you guys are into holiday movies, you guys will know this. If not, then I think you need to watch it. That's what you get for being afrentao. Eating ices, you guys. Now y'all know where this, is, this movie is from or not? Nah? <laughs> guys so i ended up getting these nose strips for 2.99 as well as these lip masks the hydro gel ones because i need some because my lips be crusty as heck and then we ended up seeing these you guys and we had to get it mainly for this it's just a silicone brush it has two sides which as you can see if you could see that if you can see that, it has two sides, so it's going to scrub your lips very, very well. Because I feel like even when you use a lip scrub, it doesn't, it doesn't do the job. Yeah. yeah. We so, got all these things from Marshalls, by the way. Yeah, $4.99. So really quick, I wanted to share with you guys. About to do a nose strip and a lip mask. And then this is the brand that we got. It doesn't show. It's from Marshalls. Yeah, and then we also have this. I'm going to show you real quick how to use it. But I'm pretty sure you guys know how to. You guys, this is amazing. Don't mind my face. I was washing it with the Clarisonic. And this is just little marks that I have. The best scrub that you can get. Go to Marshalls and look for the brand True. 
beauty and my lips feel amazing guys i have my mask on i gotta leave this on for 20 minutes so is marlene so yeah sister pamper night yes i look crazy because i know a lot of you guys want to see like a grocery haul. grocery haul so we're just gonna show a couple things that we picked up today so today we picked up some of these chips these are the quaker butter milk ranch chips um so these are the ones we like to get sometimes we like to get the cheddar ones sometimes the apple cinnamon we also got these as well these are the popcorners we wanted to get these the white cheddar um we showed the wheat thins earlier so these are the ones we get we also got these ultra thin pizza crust as you saw i'm gonna link the the pizza um recipe that we did the barbecue chicken pizza i'm gonna show you so watch that video if you didn't see it we got the small ones of these but this one is better the bigger one um this is from the dollar store we also got some vegan rice as well from the dollar store these croutons we got two of them from the dollar store as well another thing that we like to get are these um little strawberry lemonade packets or the pink lemonade to put in our water sometimes we don't want to drink just plain water which is very rare that we don't want to drink plain water but we got this just to put in our water we found those at the dollar tree yes as well um i think i feel like one little stick of these is too much for one mm -hmm. water bottle you should do less than half yeah so less than half is really good and they taste really really good so if you like pink lemonade or strawberry lemonade mm -hmm. i hope you cannot hear that music because my sister's jamming over there so i hope you don't have to you don't hear that music we also have this silk almond milk we got two of these at the dollar store this is the milk that we like to drink we transition from regular milk to almond milk, almond milk or oat milk so we got this and then we also have two of these chicken broths these are the ones that we get um these were two dollars for this big giant one i like to get these to make soups or something like yeah, that we've been doing a lot of soups lately sorry we haven't been recording them sometimes i don't feel like recording them but if you want to see soups leave a comment down below because we've been making some bomb ass soups i'm not even gonna lie and then we do have gatorades um i'm gonna see if we put a clip in here of the Gatorades we got. Let me go get them so I can show them. Yeah. Um, actually, we have one in the fridge. We'll show you. Okay. Guys, if you guys want to see a rest, a, like a big shopping haul, let us know. No, put it up here in the front. Hold on. A big shopping haul. We also got these Gatorades as well. We got the red ones. These are the white cherry or glacier cherry these are this was only 598 for all of these and you and got these, two four six eight ten twelve four these are sugar free so yeah these are really really good i really like these yeah the so these are good and then we also have the fruit punch and these have no sugar as you can see and zero calories so if you're looking for something to drink that doesn't have a lot of sugar um, get some of these you guys so if you guys want to see a big 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 massive um, grocery haul that's gonna be we're probably gonna do a massive one in December because we're gonna be cooking holiday foods and stuff like that so Sorry, oh guys. my god I cannot deal with this girl let me know down below in the comment section you guys really quick I wanted to share with you guys we got some stuff from Target so I wanted to share with you guys you guys I've been looking online, and originally I was going to buy stuff from Walmart, but they were playing games, false advertisements, so I decided to go on to Walmart. Thank God, you know, a family member told, not Walmart, to Target, a family member told me about it, so I decided to go on there, and I found a whole bunch of stuff, so everything that I got was $10, you guys, so I ended up getting this Hamilton Beach hand mixer, and it looks way better than what it is. Because in the picture, I thought I was just going to get a little one. But I actually got this one with three attachments to it. So, and you got a whisk. You got a whisk attachment for $10, you guys. So, I got this. I also ended up getting this rice cooker, you guys, for $10. And it comes with a steamer. Marlene's been wanting a steamer. So, we ended up getting one with a steamer. So, which is good because you get to cook the rice and then put the vegetables on top. Ten dollars, you guys. I also ended up getting a crock pot, you guys. I think I have one, but I needed an extra one. Ten dollars, you guys. Ten dollars, okay. 
And then I ended up getting another one for my dad, $10. The only thing that I was a little bit more was this blender right here. And it looks like this. I think I want to say this was 20 bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah, 20 bucks. So I got this blender because I needed another one to make smoothies. Oh my God. And it includes a, a cup like the Ninja. Nice. Those little cups. Awesome. To make my freaking smoothies. It has eight speeds. You got really quick. I wanted to show you. This is a storage case. How freaking cool is that? This is awesome. You don't have the, you know, cord hanging around or anything like that. This is amazing. And then we also got these movies, you guys. These were buy one, no, buy two, get one free. So we have this one. I don't remember ever. I don't remember ever seeing this. This was like six bucks. Um, we got this one because we have the first one. And then we also have this one as well. I can't even think of me ever seeing this movie. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. But you guys, how freaking good of a deal did I find? I am so excited to try this, even though I've had one before. But the simple fact that you could just put it anywhere, it doesn't take up that much space, is awesome. We got our other movie, Vegas Vacation. Why was I going to say Christmas Vacation? Because this is with the same guy. And I think so, right? Griswold. Yeah. yeah, and I love him. So, yeah, we had to get this movie. They were buy two, get one free. We got it at Target at $4. I mm -hmm. believe it was 4 or $5. I was looking at it in Amazon, and they was like $15 or something like that. So, if you want this, go to Target, man. Yes. The deals that they have are amazing. Yeah. Look at my freaking dog's cookie. Shout out to Karen for hooking him up. He's going he... nuts. Bang. Chi Chi, bang. Come here. Let Come me try you. Come and see it. You want cookie? You want cookie? He's so, so excited. He's excited, you guys. You want cookie? That's a boy. You want cookie? Shout out to Karen for hooking him up with this cookie, you guys. She got him so much stuff. I wonder what's in the middle of it, but there goes my dad. My dad babies him more than we do. Oh, there's two cookies and one. Okay, I gotta go because he's excited. You like it? Karen gave you cookies? Look at my dad putting a freaking napkin on the floor just for him. I apologize for the floors, you guys. They look really, really bad. Guys, really quick, I wanted to share with you guys. I got these ice creams from my dad because my dad, well, this one... With the exception, this one is mine. But I got these for my dad and my brother. And let me tell you, these are the best ice cream I've tried in a long time. This go banana. Look at what it says. Sweet banana ice cream with walnuts and chunks of chocolate, you guys. That's delicious. Good. So, like, almost like baby food, kind mm. of. It is delicious. <laughs> then this one right here, vanilla ice cream. I can't even talk. That's how my mouth is salivating. With waffle corn pieces coated in chocolate. That's this good. right here, freaking bomb. So bomb. Let me know down below which one, which is your favorite ice cream. I love anything coconut. So this Talenti right here, it is the best coconut ice cream I've ever tried in my life. And they have so many different flavors. Let me know down below. I think they have vegan and um, dairy free. Yes. Yeah, so... Let me know down below. Maybe, you know what? I'm not even going to say it. But anyways, let me know what your flavor is. They have so many different kind of flavors. Yeah. Let me know which one is your favorite one. And let me know what's your favorite ice cream. Because I do love butter pecan as well. And they do have a butter pecan I love one. mint chocolate chip or vanilla with sprinkles. Yes. So I'm going to show you real quick the insides of these two. Okay, you guys. So I had to take a little bit off of it so you guys could see. The chocolate chunks right here. And there is a walnut hidden in here somewhere. I don't know. Why do they always... Why are they so cheap with the freaking nuts, man? Like, come on. Walnuts is not that expensive. I could understand if it's macadamia or like a cashew or something or pistachio. But there's a walnut in here somewhere. I can't see it. And then this is the other one. This one is so good. But this banana one is delicious. This is the coconut one, you guys. This one has, um, ew, look at my nail. They have little specks of coconut pieces mm -hmm. in it. 
Let me see if I could take a little bit so you guys could see that. What do you relax? You just had your cookie. But you can't really tell, but OMG is this bomb. Right, since we're going out of the country and we like to sometimes meal prep, I wanted to share with you guys what we decided to make for my brother and my dad so they don't have to spend no money. They don't have to cook. All they have to do is pop this in the microwave. That's how good of a sister and daughter that we are. Mm -hmm. But this is yellow rice from Vigo. You got this at the dollar store. This is what we got. Here I already have one prepared. So this is a salmon and sauce with a lot of onions and peppers, as you can see. And then on top, I did butter beans. These usually come already seasoned, but I washed them and drained all the seasoning that it comes with. And then I'm, I season it myself. So this is meal number one. And then I'm going to show you, we're going to be making salami guisao, dominicano. So that's Dominican salami. So we're going to be doing that next. I'm probably just going to add the little recipe. I'm just going to cut it up and show you real quick how to do it in case you guys want to know how to do it. Okay. So this is the salami that we are going to be making. It, it's smoked flavor for those of you who don't know. Um, this is not the brand we usually get. We usually get in the Weka, but it doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is take the wrapping off, cut it, cut it in dice sized pieces, and then I'll... This is what the salami looks like. You can eat it cold by itself. You can eat it with cheese. You can eat it with crackers. It's super, super good. So let me show you the next step. So here's my oil coming up to temperature. Once this comes up to temperature, then I'm going to throw in my salami. Okay, you guys. Now, what I'm going to do is add my salami, and my, I'm just going to throw it all in. And what you want to do is put the temperature really high, because what you want is the salami to get crispy. Now, you don't have to do this. Um, you can always do the onions, peppers first with the tomato paste, but we like that crunchy feel to, to the salami. When, I mean, it's not going to be like, it just gives a nice color. Yeah. So, um, and it gives it a little bit better texture because to be honest, this is guisado. So meaning it's going to be in a tomato based sauce. So you're not going to get it super duper crispy. You get what I'm saying? So we're going to let this brown on both sides and then we'll show you when it's super crispy the way that we like it. You guys, this is what we're working with so far. We're going to let it get some more color because some of them are missing a little bit of that crispy texture that we like yeah so you just want to move them around here and there it might look like a lot of oil you guys but it really isn't because you guys will see why but as you can see some of them are getting super crispy so you want to move them constantly so that all of them could get crispy so look how good in color this will be good just like this if you wanted to eat it okay you guys as you can see they have developed a good amount of color so i would have let this go a little bit more but mama don't got no time today so i am going to be adding tomato paste now tomato paste is going to make it thick because we want a sauce right so what you want to do you know how tomato paste gets stuck to the pan just dissolve it with the oil little by little let it work one thing that i hate growing up when i was cooking i never ever did this step where I dissolved the tomato paste and I would always eat the beans and some of the times it would have like chunks of tomato and that is a, a big pet peeve of mine. So just incorporate this in as you can see already changing the consistency of the oil and it looks phenomenal. Now you can start working it all in. I'm about to get a wooden spoon because I know that bothers Marlene and that may bother a lot no, of people. No, that may bother a lot of people. You know, I know it because, you know, people get annoyed by noises and stuff like that. But you got to understand that back in the days, there was no wooden spoons, you know what I'm saying, available in my country. So this is how we were taught. So I added, as you can see, black pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of um, salt, a little bit of adobo. So let's do that now. And remember, this um, salami is already smoked and it has its own flavor so you don't want to go too ham on it I, I usually don't put that much salt no just a little bit a little bit more if you want just a little bit there you go I don't want a little bit because you know it has its own flavor you don't want salty food you know and look how like delicious that. it is there is oregano there I'm gonna add a little bit of oregano um, a little bit of garlic powder 
as you can see the temperature is kind of high on this you don't want to go too heavy on the seasonings because the salami is already seasoned but we like to put extra seasoning so now here we go with the garlic powder i'm gonna put a little bit on you it that's there a little bit of garlic powder just a little bit you guys but Look you can do whatever good. you want in your own kitchen my family this is cilantro flakes my family loves when i do this now we're going to use a little bit of add this culantro base i'm just gonna add it in here because we had a little bit left and it's just a mix of cilantro onions and peppers as well we don't really buy those but lately we have sofrito so green peppers onions culantro so we're just gonna add this little bit as well and just let it do its thing i apologize i'm gonna get a wooden spoon to, to move this better okay you guys and i am going to be adding my onions and peppers in let me just add the whole thing in you might as well and now Marlena's just gonna move it see and now that's better now you're just gonna work the tomato not the tomatoes the onions the peppers as you can see yo le corté un lote peppers you i mean onions mm -hmm. you see that that's what i'm yeah trying to make it, it, it work once it um gets hot it starts loosening up look how good this looks you guys this is good with white rice yellow rice black with rice platanos, mango yuca yeah guineito so many good things now what i do is i'm gonna let the you know this work together for a little bit and then i'm gonna put a little bit of hot water so it can make its own juices you don't have to add it. I like to because I feel like it cooks down, you know, um, all the flavors together. It makes like a thick, juicy sauce, and which if, I love. Yeah, if you like to put it on top of your rice, it just soaks up those juices. Let me tell you, it's bomb. Guys, so here's my salami. Now what we're going to do, the final step is adding some water. Um, add a little bit more. You could add as much as you want or as little. Actually, I'm going to add that much so that it can, you know, simmer on low. I'm going to put it on low for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then um, I'll show you when it's finally done. Yes, the sauce is going to get super thick. You guys will see. So look at that now and you will see it in a couple minutes. You guys, the sauce is thickening up as you can see. Super good. I think we might just leave it like this as you can see. Look how thick it's getting. Um, because we are going to be putting this with um, rice. And yeah, the longer it sits, the the less sauce it has once it cools down. So I'm going to be leaving it like this. So yeah, you guys, we hope you guys enjoy this little quick little salami. Um, yeah. If you guys want to see more Dominican dishes like this, let us know. I'm going to let it go for another two minutes, and then I'll show you before I actually turn it off. Okay, you guys? You guys, this is the consistency that you want. Um, you could let it go a little bit more if you want it a little bit more thicker, but this is the way that we like it. So we're just going to let this cool down, and then we'll show you when we plate it up with the rice. You guys, the salami is nice and cooled. As you can see, it has thickened up. That's why I say if you let it go a little bit more, you're not gonna have any sauce. So let me plate it up and show you. This is dinner for the boys. I made four, so there's like six. So I added some sauce on the top of the beans, as you can see. They look so, so good. We're gonna let them cool down and then we'll pop them in the fridge. Then they have lunch, well, dinner for, for the week. American Airlines, we're going to catch our flight. You guys, we hope you guys enjoy this video. My hair's kind of puffy, but we are in the airport waiting to land. Like, what are you to land? Waiting to board the flight. Excuse me, because I'm out of control right now. Um, we will comment guys... down below. Let us know where you think we're going. You guys know where we're going, but anyways, um... only the riders will know where we're going. We hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.